Hey everybody, Thanksgiving is around the corner and today I'm going to be making a couple of traditional sides uh, that you would eat at Thanksgiving, including a stuffing, which is a vegan version, and uh, also we're going to be making uh, cranberry sauce, uh, uh, traditional cranberry sauce from scratch instead of a can. It's really simple and I've been making it for years and um, so let's get started with the stuffing. I'm going to add in the uh, vegan sausage patty so it gets uh, a nice kind of like a sausage flavor in the stuffing. This is looking pretty good. I'm going to be adding some dried cranberries to make it a little sweet to add with all the savoriness. It smells so great in this house right now. It smells just like Thanksgiving. And I'm excited to assemble now. We have all the sauteed vegetables with the onion, celery, the mushroom, with the thyme sage, and a little bit of cranberry in there, sausage, the veg sausage. And um, we're, that's all soft and tender, ready to go. And we're gonna mix it up with the uh, herb dressing, the dry part. And I have a, uh, a baking dish, uh, already pre-sprayed. So once it's all mixed up, and you have to play around with it, sometimes you have to add a little bit more uh, broth so that it's not too dry. And so we'll play it by ear, and then we'll pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. We'll start to uh, turn it around, uh, stir it around, and put it in for another 20 minutes so that it gets nice and crispy. Oh. This looks so good. Here's how the sauteed vegetables turn out. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. It is looking a little bit on the dry side, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the veg broth. Pop into the oven. I'm going to put a little bit more broth in. I like it. A nice moist dressing. Okay, we'll pop it in at 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, another super easy side to make at Thanksgiving is cranberry sauce. Fresh cranberry sauce. It's easy to make. You don't have to get the can and you can control the ingredients that are in them. So I have some organic cranberries. This is an eight ounce bag. I've sprinkled it with just a little bit of salt and I'm gonna, we're gonna cook it in a pot for about 20 minutes and still it, until the cranberries start cracking and then we can mush it down into the sauce. I have a cup of water that, I'm gonna, that I put some organic agave syrup in, about a quarter cup of agave, instead of using refined sugar. And in addition to that, I have half an orange squeezed uh, for the juice and the zest of an orange. So this is combined here. And then uh, after it's all done, I'm gonna throw in some uh, orange liqueur for good measure. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this up on the stove and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. The stuffing, or the dressing I have baking is gonna be ready um, probably another half an hour. I have to 
uh, check it in uh, about 15 minutes, stir it, and then bake it for another 20 minutes. So these things should be ready around the same time. The cranberries are bubbling away. Uh, we're gonna wait until they start popping. Uh, I did add a little bit uh, more agave to the liquid and I also added just a touch of lemon juice um, just to adjust the flavors, but otherwise, I think these are gonna turn out great. Hey everybody, we're done with the uh, dressing and or stuffing and also the cranberry sauce. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna taste it in a minute, but I'm gonna add to the cranberry sauce just a little bit of Grand Marnier, it's an orange liqueur. I wanted to make sure to add it after because of course I don't want it to burn off. And it is the holidays and we might be with family, who knows. So that explains that. I'm gonna stir this up, it smells delicious. It smells like Thanksgiving here already. Mm, mm, mm. Go ahead and take a taste. Mmm. Steamy. I just took it out of the oven. This would be a perfect side. I'm going to be doing a video of a seitan roast later this month, right before Thanksgiving. Put some cranberry on top. Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit different this year, but we can enjoy our favorites for sure. Mm. That stuffing is very herbaceous with the extra herbs and the mushrooms. It just takes a little bit to amp up the flavor. Mm. All right, make it a great day. See you on the next video.